he was a representational drawing interpret you know uh, um, uh, um through observation a lot of latitude with what he did and how he saw things it's you know there was a really great emotional contour and he was an absolutely phenomenal colorist and um he he's kind of he followed the impressionist he was you know considered at the beginning considered a post impressionist um he, he a term that i'd never heard before he was um because of some, all of the very intimate paintings he did of people you know doing daily things in their household still lifes interiors um he was called a called an intimist which i thought was interesting i never uh considered, that no i i hadn't either but he was certainly the bridge between and i've heard i heard uh an interview with uh, Diebenkorn talk about that. He was he was one of the bridges between um, the impressionists and the modernists, and I think that's a really good description of what he was and what he did as an artist. Absolutely phenomenal. These are all self portraits. Relates to a lot of what we're doing in here tonight. Really fun stuff. That knows. Yeah, the boxer. He was wildly facilitated and chose to use it when he wanted to. But look at that. <laughs> oh, those. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just like, in my mind, it doesn't get any better than that. I just absolutely just think this these are just marvelous paintings. Such a fa fantastic, I mean, they're painting such a fantastic interpretation. He was, he was from France lived his life in France, moved to the south of France during uh, uh, the First World War. And then spent the, pretty much spent the rest of, I mean, he was back and forth from there to Paris later on, but ended up spending the rest of it, the end of his life in the, on the Mediterranean in the south of France. These are uh, paintings of his wife, gorgeous stuff. Mm -hmm. wonderful interpretations and you can see that these paintings that are about to show you if you have an understand I mean, I mean i i can see bernie fuchs in that piece yeah that's so much about his point of view of how he uh, how he worked simplified things his paint oh. is so interesting too you know it's like it's like how much he played with the transparency and viscosity and opacity of it. There was right. when you see him in person, it's like a whole different thing. You know, it's like there's just there's dimension, there's you know depth to it that you don't see in the prints. What an interpretation, organization of a landscape. But you can see the influence. You know, for you, know, you think about the um, um, the Bay Area figurative painters. You know, the abstract expressionist, you know, somebody like Diebenkorn. Um, you can see that in these pieces. You can see the connection to them. The influence, especially the one on the left in, in this piece. Something to get excited about. That might be my favorite painting of his. Yeah. I love the... the interior exter exterior the temperature shift of the warm interior and the cool exterior he did that a lot it's such a beautiful way to break up space that way there's the cat down in the bottom <laughs> extraordinary anyway that's that's my lesson for today um just drool all over these things and think about I mean, you know as i'm thinking about painters that i like that were influenced by him 